three for the Boost Mobile Casting Desk, and we, Henry, oh, get yes. to bring a great game, I think, in some ways, because it's a bit of a surprise. Space Soldiers, I thought, would be rather amazing at this match. I wouldn't say amazing, but sort of a dark horse. I, I know, let me it, down even, even more than that, I was hoping for, you know? Like, yesterday against Sprout, I feel like they, they looked nervous, I think. I think, obviously, like we saw in the pre-match interview uh, yeah. with Major there that he was feeling that uh, the team was still getting used to this environment. It's the biggest tournament they've ever played, and that's understandable. They definitely can bring a lot more firepower than that. That was not good enough yesterday, and I feel like they are going to win this game and start to get warmed up into this tournament, but I am expecting a lot more than what we saw. I, I like that Major also touched on communication, because you mentioned the lack of trades yesterday in Cobblestone for them, and it, that they were the really one-dimensional. It wasn't so much the trades, it's a lack of discipline. I, I think Counter-Strike's all about skill, teamwork, discipline. Those are the three pillars you need to be working on. It's that third one that really didn't work out, but Divisic, that did. Good Lord, the USP comes into fruition. He finds the first two kills, but Zantara is still alive, and he's always going to be a bit of a beast here. It's now a four versus three. They are going to be committing fully towards the A bomb site. Engine, though, could fall back. Got the bomb on his back there. And um, Zantara is trying to get the wall bang at the Glock. That's ambitious. Avangar yesterday was my wild card pick against Mouse Sports. Pressed, I think, more than some people would have expected. Good reaction from Major as he snaps back over to Jane, but Buster's got the shot back. Zantara's is still trying to find Christian down below as he jumps into the site. It's going to be a secret that's easily able to put Engine down and be aware of the fact that he's. Sometimes has made the firebox oh. in from the firebox. So he's able to turn it around and take down both aforementioned players. That gives him space inside of the site. He's got the HP advantage over Buster as well. 14 only for Buster. USP is going to have to nail the headshot. Zontaras does have to go back to get the ball. Oh. Doesn't even matter. Straight kill. Four in total for Zontaras. That was absolutely wild towards the end. Zontaras stepping up. If he's on the server map, anything can happen there. It looked like it was locked in for Avangard. His opening kills are fantastic. Zontaras are jumping out of the palace, getting himself into an advantage his position two kills come in there then absolutely rails him toward the steps brilliant stuff and i did look it up yesterday because we mentioned that on the previous hltv ratings zontaris was the highest rated again a little bit skewed based on the fact yes, that he doesn't play sure. tier one all the time he's actually still rated number two under rating 2.0 which is the new rating system bintet's the only player higher which is a similar story again yeah. kind of skewed opposition but it's remarkable nonetheless you have to think if he was a fluent english speaker where he would be playing right now it's unbelievable how good he can be. i have said that i, I mentioned it to him last year when we were at one of the uh, 1v1 tournaments actually in Bucharest. I said, yeah. man, you need to learn some English because you could easily play anywhere. And he didn't really respond because he didn't speak English. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't understand what I said to begin with, so it doesn't matter. Well, there we go. Once again, Matt, it's the same problem. They do get the trade there, but they're going into the choke points without any real utility at the very start. They can hold up. It's a massive problem for Space Soldiers. They are starting to recover somewhat, though, but Buster does a very good job with the Desert Eagle, even more so the second. Three versus two now. This anti ecos always are so... Dicey for Space Soldiers, but two versus one, just about as Paz finds a penultimate kill there. And it's up to Jame, who will be in CT spawn. And with a scout is a threat because Paz with only 17 HP. Major on 100. Headshot would take him down, obviously. Can at least afford to take a bit of damage. He wants to get that bomb planted, just barely evades the shot from the scout. He'll go safe side of the boxes so that it can't be sprayed through the long position. It's getting a bit scary. I feel like James is about to hit one of these shots. All of a sudden, mm. it's a one versus one. But Paz does deliver. But once again, I'm feeling nervous when they go into these anti-eco situations. Every single time, like, everyone's going out one by one. There's no utility really deployed. You can see the steps not even covered there. Then Buster, lovely shot. Don't get me wrong, but still, it's always so touch and go every single time. Keep in mind that Avangar, this is their number one played map. This will be their 33rd match on it. They did lose yesterday. Before yesterday, they had like a 71% win rate on it. So, mm. different opposition, sure. But it's still remarkable that they've gotten it twice out of the long ban process that is the best of one. So, that's going to be something that they're pleased with. Well, full eco now. CZ for Buster. It will be demi sick. I've been told it's been out. So, we're going to work on that map. We're going to work on it. We'll make it fluent. So, we say demi sick. It's still like That's true, Dima, it? Mai, it's yeah. all about the same, right? So not really much the CD can do. They went for a big stack, unfortunately for them, so it is almost guaranteed to be the 3-0 here, as you can see. Not really much to report here, Matthew. It's going to be one of those rounds where we don't get to say much at all. The bomb we planted, that's the round guaranteed to be over. And it might even be an idea just to stay and stay alive on the CT side. You can see a majority usage of the SMG on the terrorist forces. Every time they get a kill with that weapon, um, it's 600 bucks. So you might, even, might consider even just denying them everything. Staying alive wouldn't be the end of the world. See if they run into a little crossfire set up here. You can get one of the kills, but it looks like the man can do some serious work now. Three kills come in. It's just going to be Buster as the last remaining CT. CZ in hand is going to hold in the B apartments and hold 
But anyone pushing towards him is obviously a close range weapon. He might get one kill here. Not meant to be there. Clean sweep and a bit of a bonus situation for the space soldiers here. Three Mac 10s up against a weakened avant garde. If you force by in the second round, you are going to be struggling. They do get the AWP out, but you can see there'll be a distinct lack of either utility or helmets. And okay, they've gone for the former. So they've gone for uh, three helmets here and two smokes available, man, in the first gun round. That is not ideal, is it? A couple young players in this as well. Kikert, Christian. I'm told it's like Christian, Christian. Yes. Christian. But how do you hold off? And, and I'm just going to say, and Kalex yeah. are all three of the ten youngest players in this event. Oh, I've just seen you've been doing your research. I have. I have. Thank you. Statistician. James, James in that mix as well. He's just a bit older, but this goes toward the sandwich. You're right. How do you hold off a rush with uh, this cannon on James Well and there's no kits? to work with on the CT side. Looking okay right now. It's still a three on three. The bomb, oh, that's a courageous plan, I have to say. Paz still fragging, though. Two on two. Jane rotating in with the AWP. He's coming towards that connector area. Paz has been tagged up. And now Buster has shown us some decent form. That Desert Eagle continues it with the M4A4. Paz now two frags into this round, but it doesn't look likely he can win this one. If he finds one more kill, that's actually really beneficial. The money's still going to be extremely weak for the CT forces, and now the mind games begin. Has he gone towards B? The CTs don't know. They are going to separate. That does give Paz a chance to make his way in. If he lands a one-bullet headshot towards Buster, that would be extremely beneficial. Seems to know that he could be hiding on the bomb side there as he makes his way in. As you can see in the top left, both CTs now on completely other sides of the map. Had red HP when he finished the last round, but had a teammate with him against a scout. This time with the AK, he still manages to find Buster for free. So Bomb will go down. He has some smoke and two flashes. He'll use them both right away to try and get movements like Gap in the smoke, but the flash would have covered off the time in which he crossed. 14 again to take down Jame, who's gotten much closer, but he's just with the USP to work with again. Which oh, look at the AK. him! He pulled his nade out, Paz. That's an absolutely sick round from him. I was just saying, he gets one more kill, Matt, that's enough. That's going to be ruining their economy. He somehow gets the bomb down, finding the kill towards the bomb site. The thing is, right, there's an argument to be made here. The CTs, did they play that correctly? They could both be playing around the middle area, maybe say window connector, and to stay in a two-man unit. If one player, if he does go towards B, sure, you're going to take him, he's allowed to plant the bomb, and then you take him down together. As soon as you separate like that, you set yourself up for disaster because the rotation is going to take so long. A lot of pressure on either player there, and it does not work out for the CTs whatsoever. We go into round number five here. Space out is 4 0 up. Some great individual play. Fonterra saving them in the pistol. Paz coming up trumps in round number four. <laughs> CT forces, but a little bit more equipped. They have got three CZs. Uh, Deagle as well. There is some body armor available, so I wouldn't say it's a partial buy, but it's, it's something. Smokes to be deployed. We have one player on the B side of the map. Molotov's going in, and this time, this is looking much better. This is what I want to see on uh, these sort of anti-egos. Go for a full execution, treat it like a gun round, like you would. Don't expect it's going to be an easy affair. As you can see, though, it's still falling apart. And it goes into a four versus three. They've given up a couple of AKs at the same time. These rounds are never straightforward, it seems, for Space Soldiers. As goes back toward the apartments. He has to survive on his own. At least until such time, the bomb can get in position. He's done well. He's held the quad side sight inside of the pillars. Not taking any unnecessary peeks. And in fact, holding off the door, he'll get Buster walking through as well. It's Jame, last alive. I take that back. Kinker's still in this as well, but as long as P, low HP is on 19. Good find from Jame to at least pull the round level, but much to work with no kits. They've got to get aggressive. Jame's going to try and do exactly that. His teammate's still in the window. And OHP can do nothing. Paz is going to find him soon after his teammate went down. Well recovered. 5-0, but this is where the game really begins for Avangar. Remember, this is a best-of-one environment. These sort of starts, especially on a map like Mirage and the CT side, where it's technically more favored. This is looking pretty disastrous. Here's that Major getting it done with the AK-47. Lovely work by him. We spoke to him in the pre-game interview, and he said the team was nervous yesterday, and they know they can do better today. So far, so good map. Not giving up a single round so far, but very early days, and Avangar changed their stance to go for a double orb setup. Still no kits. Their money is not stable. Three players of our helmets. Luckily, no SMGs available for space soldiers here. They're going to have five AK-47s. 
and we'll take a tactical timer. That's actually going to be Space Soldiers calling that one. They know they can control the pace of this game, dictate where it's going, and force Avangar into uncomfortable situations. Space Soldiers, of course, dropping out to Sprout yesterday on Cobblestone. We thought that would be a lock-in for them, the start of their underdog campaign here at uh, stage one of the major, but it wasn't meant to be. Their, their anti-ecos were a massive problem, and their T side especially just did not look good. But, like we said, so far so good in this one. This is a 0-1 game. Double orb set up. Is there a change in terms of the aggression from the CTs? I don't think so. I think let's give this a go. They have to turn three players towards B with uh, Demisic heading towards Shaw. He hasn't got the AWP, bear in mind. He's gone towards CPL, the M4A4. In terms of the setup for Space Soldiers, looks like a B execution coming through. I think this is a great way to play the game. If you have full control of the money, set pieces, and just bullying the CTs off when they haven't really got the utility to hold you at bay is a very good idea. Double orb setup, that could be a disaster for retaking bomb sites if the full wall of smokes comes in towards the B area. Underpass to work with for Paz and Calyx. Team I sick above them. B will cut off the arches. So Kurt's gonna go back inside of the site, which now gives Paz and Calyx the chance to try and boost with Dima Sick watching Catwalk instead. Paz is gonna get in, and Dima never turned around. Oh, he just did. I, I was about to say, based on my view, that he got all the way to the vent. He just got caught in time by Dima Sick, which gives them back mid control, and it's gonna force Space Soldiers back. That's a huge win because if he was able to get through the vents and sneak around behind from Checker, they were down inside of the B site. Five versus three. Finally, something looking promising for Avan Gar here. It's the Orp of Jame that does step up quite nicely there to find a very influential pick. 30 seconds remaining. It's unlikely Space Shoulders get back into this round, but Zantara is still alive here. Krizen looking towards the connector, but Zantara, there he comes. Using that AK-47, he is a very scary factor on the map. So is Kallax as he takes that one. Can't find a second now. It's going to be Dimasic hiding towards jungle. 13 seconds remaining. They have to I'll be impressed. Zantara is now causing some pain from the palace area. He wants to take these challenges. He wants to find the jewels, and is buying time for Engine. He's walking towards CT spawn. No double spray down today, but now Engine left in a two versus one, and Zantara has done the damage. Tons of damage. This gives Engine a massive chance. The fact the bomb went down, and Zantara was able to find the early kill, gives them a Massive chance. Busters oh, with two HP. Able to get the shot through the box and finally get Avangar around. This will be a full five round reset. We talked a little bit about how that money system works yesterday. Meaning that if they lose the next one with only one player surviving, they're going to be left with very little economy. So a chance to reset for Space Soldiers at least, but a first round for Avangar. Yeah, still, that was a five on three situation coming down to a tight one versus one. Good effort by Space Soldiers. And like we said, they're going to keep them very, very modest indeed. This is the final shot. Oh, you can just see the tiny bit of forehead sticking out of the box there. Engine does go down eventually. But still, Space Soldiers have a real strong full buy here, of course. They get the five AK 47s, every bit of utility required. Look at Avant Garde. Two UMPs, the saved AWP, and they're going for a full A execution. This is what I said. You know you're controlling the economy. Keep dropping these in. CT's going to struggle. Fast execution as well. Kalex through these, these sets up toward jungle from inside the spawn. It's the fastest way to throw it, but they had to throw a smoke and a flash of their own. Buster's able to step up as a result. He's got the UMP. Kinkert manages to shut down Engine, and Kallax, the one who threw the smoke and then went back towards spawn to get bomb, is now left alone. So the fast play does not pay off. I, mean, I don't mind running fast plays. I won't say it's not going to pay off yet because Kallax is the second highest rated player on Space Soldiers, and he's already got one and given himself a breath of room. But to run a fast play when you're up against a potential reset, it's a tough call to make. Mm hmm they're just trying to make sure that Avangar can get comfortable. There's no defaults being presented. There's nothing at all, right? They're changing it up every single round. Execute towards B, execute at A, fast push in. And like it's, it's not a standard game so far. But after this round, I would suggest it will be. It'll be one of the final buys coming forward for Space Soldiers if they do indeed lose this round. Kalexel has a chance to win, of course, but it's unlikely. Well, and two things. One, he can get the bomb plant down, which would give them enough money for a great buy. And secondly, any kill that he gets here is going to make it very costly. Yes, absolutely. Uh, Chris, as you can see, He's a T-spawn, gathering information, not even required. He will be taken down, Kallax that is towards a connector. And we get 5-2 on the scoreboard. Like we said, one more buy available for Space Soldiers before they are on Eco. But nice to see Avangar turning up now and starting to stabilize somewhat. Buster with this UMP, this was absolutely wild. The fact he got the second kill at such long range. There we go. This mean the third. That was the one that was impressing me towards that major there. Great work with the UMP. 
a weapon that was nerfed earlier in 2017 uh, for that very reason. The, the range was a little bit too long in it, but still doesn't affect him at all. Zantares, spotter player crossing towards the connector. They can't pull the trigger in time. Big round here. As Avangar start to get into this game, Diffuse gets coming out. The utility, no double orb set up again, but James, the main orb out, will have that weapon in hand. Exploring towards the B apartments now. The CTs will be pushing through. That's a great position to be in. Gets a lot of information, but does he go any further? Just hold up there. No, oh, he will indeed hold up. It doesn't get, as you say, any further information, but it can still give them confidence to not be directly inside of the B site, more so. Because Buster's also been watching Catwalk react. Based on his position, good find from Christian. He's got one down on Major. Alex. No, really could be last by. They need to get into the site quickly to get the bomb down. Good play from Paz. But he doesn't realize the Buster's rotating right behind him so quickly. And even though he does react, he still gets taken down by the M4. Jin does make up for it. Divisic over aggressive, over extending. And Zontares gets Buster trying to reach around to catch the kill in return. They could have waited because Quicker was on the hard, hard flank. He's actually just gotten inside of A main. And he's easily going to take down Engine, but that means it's costly. Thankfully, he does get the bomb for it. Taurus has gotten it down to a one-on-one, -on -one, and my god, he is scary when he's on a form like this. Two kills already, and he's so crisp. We need to get his camera shot at some point of how close he sits to his monitor because he's dead accurate, and perhaps that's why. He takes down Kickert as well. Oh, you don't want to give up a position when you're in a one versus one with Zantara. He seems to hit absolutely every single shot. You're right. Such a scary player to be up against there. And we were mentioning it before. Like, he sits unbelievably close to his monitor. Like, the nose is almost touching. He's like, the hands are directly beneath him. And he's just in the game, I guess. It's like, he's like Sanio at that point. It's like, just reading the game in code. And, uh... Unbelievable scenes. What a, a fantastic clutch from him. Six to two. And it looks like an eco coming forward for Avangar here. Major. To be careful, my friend. You are alone with the AWP up against an eco. If you lose that weapon, it could come a disastrous. But what a flick that was. Demasic will get his head blown off there, removed from the server. And we run round number nine. And six to two looking to be seven to two very shortly. So Calix UMP going to hold just to make sure no one pushes aggressively. They do get the reset in the end based on good efficiency. Again, one player survived in the first round. They won only three in the second round, but they had to buy in so aggressively that they get caught out immediately. So space soldiers take over control. Nifty little pop flash off the fridge. Doesn't go deep in the hallway, but anyone directly on the platform will be caught by it should they elect to go for it, and then engine can peek. At least clear the direct threat. I think perhaps they're going to just let Major do the clearing. No, there it is. So they do go for it. Double peek out. Major will get in position. Next task, Van and Major's in position to get out Kickert as soon as he actually pushes out. So they went the short Molotov instead. Yeah, flushing him out of that tight corner. A lot of players will sit in that position when they've got a CZ, for example, or maybe an MP7 UMP. Use a flashbang for a teammate and try and spray them down. But we can see them heading back towards A. So it's up for Major now. He started alone at the very beginning of the round. Now alone towards B while and, teammates get in. And there's two reasons for him to be the flanker. For, or excuse me, for him to be the faker. First off, he's got the nades to do it. Secondly, they can plant so that he's in mid with the AWP to watch through connector. So Major has already rotated back in that position. He just has to hold position for such time that the bomb is planted perfectly for him. It is. The fake works. And I highly doubt they're even going to do anything with the pistols. But it's a smart play to let the AWP post that position. Yeah, absolutely. Well, at this point, guaranteed round for Space Soldiers. Avangar, in terms of the next round, they're on the first aid loss bonus. But they've got about 3k for playing. Maybe just under that on a couple of them. So they will be able to buy into the next round. It just won't be ideal. It'll be another mishmash buy. Might have some Famuses, UMPs. A couple of M4s, something like that. They could take a partial buy here if they really want to play safe. And Paz finds yet another kill. If they find one AK-47 taking the next round, that'd actually help a lot. I can't stress that enough. Unfortunately, doesn't look like that's going to happen. They're going to post up inside a checker. 7-2 for Space Soldiers. Ooh. Demisic, he's got $2,600. There he is, Antares. Uh, that's he's, him relaxing He's not, he's not right in games. Yeah, that, that, there. Yeah, he gets a bit closer. That, he's right up in that. Monetize. The only person I know that might sit as close, maybe, I don't know, I don't know if I could say closer, but Bondic sits yeah, very that's close right. as well. Yeah, I've seen him plenty of times, like DreamHack events and those booths and stuff, and he's just like right up to the monitor. That's, that's, that's him just getting ready for the round. Imagine when he's in a clutch, how close he gets. He looks like a wrist aimer as well, because he has his hand closer to the edge of the desk, which could maybe go along with the mouse acceleration, but sure. again, I don't use it. You are strictly against it, but it seems to work for him. 
Well, here we go. But if you use very high sensitivity, it's not actually a massive issue because it's all about the speed you move a mouse, and right. obviously it goes up. If you're using really high sense, it's not a massive deal. But 7-2, um, and it's round number 10 here. Like I said, a couple of compromises have to be made. UMPs will come out. James still has the AWP, but no armor. One HE grenade as we're one minute 20 to the round. That is not ideal. They have to work hard for these frags. They cannot rest in their laurels and wait for an execution to come in. Someone actively needs to hunt for a kill at the very beginning of this round. Major, he's been hitting some pretty interesting shots so far. I have been enjoying some of the flicks he's been presenting so far into this. And you can see quicker with the push towards the B apartments again. Like I said, he has to work hard and try and get a kill here. Same story for Buster, waiting for a sound cue to come out the corner. And it works out for a major with the orb. Can't do anything about that. Good flashbangs being utilized. And that's fine. Two kills, five on three, but they have thrown these kind of rounds away before. Paz surely dead here. Let's check the corner, and he will be punished for that. Yesterday, one of the issues after had on their CT side, oh, Team Six going to pull it back and get Zontaras down, is that they d did lose key battles on both Cat and B, and it was a big weakness for them against Mouse Sports. There were some rounds in particular referenced on the desk. Today, it's a little bit of a different story. This, this round's pretty straightforward. Double up setup seems to work. Not too much, one kill for it, but Buster seems to hold off well on Cat. The, lose, the, the, the formula to what's causing them lose today is very different than that. They're just getting ripped apart in duels. I mean, the number of clutches we've seen that's gone the way of Space Soldiers has been remarkable. Well, they're yet to post more than two rounds in a row, avant -garde. So they need to start stringing these rounds together. They do manage to get a couple of AKs now. That is very beneficial for the CT forces to have. That might sound a little bit strange, but the AK-47 has one tap potential, means you can play more aggressive angles on the CT side. And Jane, speaking of aggression, does not manage to get towards that A ramp with the AWP. It's a little bit uh, Fallen-esque, if you like, as Antares is ready and waiting. He does drop a smoke. That will be allowing... Oh, that's an awful little smoke. Doesn't do anything for him. Very massive gap. There's no one way there. Miss throws it. And uh, at this point, he might consider falling back. His teammates are watching Palace for him, but he wants to try and get this first kill. Flashback as he oh. misses him, and he gets a collateral. Takes Paz down to 14 HP. I thought he was going to get both cleanly, but fair enough. 14 for Paz. It's still all good. Avangar could fall back and play more securely in the site, so the aggression pays off. Engine's going to line up. Top stairs, smoke. So they're still going to elect to go for the A execution. One man down, one man... Well, two men weakened, but one significantly. Major already holding off mid as well. Does have to watch for Buster rotating over B because they know this is going to go to the A site. Christian's already got him by walking immediately out. Completely a connector. He's isolated by smoke, so he can afford to be the one to peek because he's not going to be spotted from Palace as a result of Paz. In again, he's always low on HP, it seems, when he's the last alive, and he'll get shut down this time. Two in a row for Avangar. I think this will be the first eco now for Space Soldiers. Avangar getting into this game. It's not over just yet. They can still win the half, remember. So this is looking quite promising now for the Avangar boys. They get the AKs out, like we said, two of those. As I was explaining in the previous round, great for going in positions like towards short, facing middle, B apartments, going for the one taps, means you can go toe to toe with the terrorists in terms of 1v1 jewels. Double orb setup also, I'll bust that. And James, just to note, it'll go towards B Space Soldiers. PG50s, CZs. One deagle, no armor, no nades. So this should be quite a quick round. I'll see if they can get any sort of damage inflicted here. We have seen a few rounds in this major go towards full eco teams and kick out with this position. They should be fine. Nice aggressive stance from him. Completely controls middle and the underpass, so they shouldn't be getting much further than that. Position takes Santaras down immediately. Had no idea that he was in behind the boxes. Get rotate toward B as well, which is the right position to be in. Good first shot for Buster, holding on from Cat, takes down two. James got the other. Double up, crossfire in B, bomb down. Paz a long way removed from the action. He'll head toward B now, but in vain. Deagle, no armor. Yeah, good luck with this one. Mirage is a map that lends itself to the Deagle itself. Lots of long range open jewels, one tap potential. You can see there's a chance for it. Doesn't quite nail the shot. But uh, should be double with momentarily, there it is. And the final kill comes in. Clean sweep there for Avangar. 7-5 to five now, the overall scoreline. His buster, nothing to write home about. A couple of pretty standard orb shots coming through there. And it's just to nail them. Calais goes down, denies the bombing planted. That's the main um, facts there. The fact he denies any sort of extra cash coming into space. So he hasn't really had the AWP out at all. We did discuss the idea that it's a common misconception in CSGO that you have to have an AWP to have a full gun round. Some teams feel more comfortable with five AK-47s, and each other of them want dynamic. You can't get as 
opening as many opening picks perhaps but still executions can be a lot more powerful with five AKs and it looks like that's what they're going for right now four players towards the A side of the map three at the A ramp one in the palace and we have one player towards middle at the very same time that's going to be major as the smokes to begin to be deployed it's going to be Zantara's coming out of the palace area we'll see if they can get anything done here Jane plays very closely once again with the AWP has to go to the CZ Tagged considerably as well. He still plays in the smoke, but can't find the kill he was waiting for. Because he's nearly paid off. Six dinked multiple times. And Paz runs him down as well. So the gun's paying off again for Space Soldiers. Major oh, tries Buster. to go in late. Buster's missed it. It does take Major off the angle. He bails out on it because he thinks the repeat would come in in time. But it does mean problems for Grisium because now he's got to look toward the front of the site and be a little bit wary of exactly where Major is going. Looks like the round might be all but over. Buster, one more shot, though. He's going to give it his best effort here. Two versus one, Paz and Kallax just have to hold in a crossfire. They opt to sit both at the Tetris position right now. He has got an incendiary, a smoke, and a diffuse kit. This is certainly viable for him. Edges in towards the jungle area, but looks like he'll be bailing out at this point. Too much information to gather and a bomb to defuse. Probably the sensible decision him at. And he can save the AWP and just keep the money strong for the last couple of rounds coming forward now. Good work by Space Soldiers. The A execution coming in just when they know the double orb setups out for the TTs. I thought it was a strange maneuver from uh, the other orb at the very start. That James, who holds towards that A ramp, he had plenty of opportunity to bail out the smokes being down there, but pulls up the CZ, wants to sit in the smoke, and essentially gives himself up for free. There's the kill right there. Pass takes him down. And uh, it was a nice idea in the round before. I think maybe twice a half you can get away with that, the A ramp. But as soon as you feel the execution coming in, maybe time to bail out. And. Uh, but you can even easily get the steps and uh, try and just hold a more defensive position. Double all set again, like we said, saving the orb was a good idea. And we'll get into round number 14 here. Matt 10 for Major. Not sure that's uh, the correct play. He could have probably got the AK-47. He's got about 2k left over Ops for the SMG here. There's only one player without a helmet. That's going to be Chrism. So watch out for that as he edges through the smoke in middle here. Chrism. We'll still wait to try and see above this one deployed and makes it work. Shuffles back over to the left side of connector. It allows him to see the catwalk. Major goes down. Zontaras again. Straight entrance. He plays the best when he's got the room. Snap accuracy. This is why you deploy set pieces so your star players can get some positional control, get out of position by Palace here, but not finding the shots just Ooh, yet. Wow. They're definitely not going to find them now. Jane with the wall bank shot there with the AWP. Now it's a five versus one. Pass, nothing to do about this. He does get one kill with the bomb down, as you can see, in the very middle of the bomb side there. He has got a minute to work with here. This would be a huge throw from Avangard. They gave this one up. Flashbangs, nice teamwork there, and that should ruin the economy for Space Soldiers going into the last round here. Eight to six almost certainly going to be 8-7. to seven. We'll see what they can bring. Maybe on the T side they can scrap together a couple of AKs and maybe three pistols. We'll see what they go for here. Good recovery from Avangar. Oof, that shot. Avangar to pull this back as well because remember they were down I think at 1.7-2. to Yeah, indeed they were. So they recovered this well and definitely doing so with CT side economy and tatters. I always talk about that. That's so hard to recover because uh, yeah. more expensive, no bonus from bomb plants. Yeah, that's why there's an argument to be made. Force buying in the second round after losing the piss on the CT side, the best of one, especially yep. in this sort of environment where it's so brutal to recover from. Uh, I would say that's uh, definitely an idea to consider. But as like you said, UMPs, MAC 10s, and they did spot towards the B apartments and see a couple of players with space soldiers there, but they'll fall back and just hold up at this point. Buster's positioned well. It looked like the aggression might have caught the mountains on Taurus and Paz were both set for crossfire if anyone wanted to get aggressive toward the apartments directly. They're going to throw the similar flash, bounced off the fridge to allow Paz to peek, but it doesn't fool Buster. He reads it perfectly. Tries to hold zero in the play. Can't quite do it. Goes for more, but he gets up on top of the barrel. This time he does get the kill. And down goes Engine. It's on to Calix to plant it on the offsite. Back over toward A. He's got Major with them. They don't have weapons. Mac 10 only for Major. At least the head armor, so if they can win one duel and pick up a gun, massively beneficial. Oh, nice shot. Hello. Galax, I was going to say the problem is chasing that gun because they'll expose themselves around the corner. Demon 6 is going to clean up, and 8-7, then we'll split the half down the middle. Good recovery, Avangar. I say that again because we know, again, this is their best map. Yesterday, their CT side was, I think, problematic. I think it could have been better. They actually did win the CT side against Mouseports, but 
Teesside gave them problems. Eight to seven, yeah. All things considered, that is a very good recovery from Avangar. As well from Vasta, it's how they come to life there towards the end of the half. Timasic getting a nice double spray down there. So, the game's still absolutely anyone's here. It comes down to the all important pistol once again. It was uh, Zantera's. And Space Soldiers, I guess, a slight, slight cameo from them in the initial pistol in the first half. He got four kills, which was uh, three versus one clutch at the same time. Can he pull off the same sort of heroics here in half number two? We will find out momentarily. We'll have a look at the buys right now. There is no upgraded pistols at all for Space Soldiers. Not even a bit of a utility map. Five sets of armor up against a similar story. But Space Soldiers have a kit and a smoke on engine there. Three to B. Dima sick and Buster to hold off A main and mid. It's not going to be a direct B hit with the three in apartments. In fact, they're all going to rotate together back towards Antares, who's gooshed up, taken down to 25 from range. He has to play a different angle, have to get out of the window. That's going to allow Keith as well to jump off, catches Antares inside the vent. Easy kill. He'll grab the P2000. Engine is holding off the backside. At least Alex and Major are holding off the inside of the site. There's nowhere for them to go. Christian finally gets one back. Demasic has to fight on. He's got to do it quick and correctly mm. because unfortunately they've lost the bomb toward jungle. A minute and five, that may not matter. Major, what a great round from him. Yeah, he's looked solid so far on this best of one. Three great shots there. It's a fantastic position to be in. If you can get towards Palace and clear out that area and ascertain that there's no terrorist presence there whatsoever, holding that position, they're unlikely to check it. You've got the USP and you can completely rinse him from that position. We'll be powers doing some fantastic work there, but this was the all-important moment. Major coming out of the palace, one by one, taking them down. Lovely shots coming through and denied the bomb being planted. That's a big deal. Now Avangar are forced to buy up in the second round here. They'll have Deagle CZ. It looks like they'll go for an A play over the Lotus. The bomb is still down in T-spawn, so I doubt a full commitment will come out of this. This is just trying to work a pick. Unless they've forgotten the bomb, I'd assume they'll fall back after trying to work a Deagle kill here. Aggressive Deagle, as you say, well, that kill doesn't really work out they for them, the bomb. but That's the bomb just... is yeah, in spawn. They have this legit for the bomb. About the only thing you'd want to try and accomplish this round, get a bomb plant. Yeah, well, I don't know that it would happen anyway. <laughs> they never really had the room in the site, to be fair. It's, it's still nice to bring it with you, you know, just in case. You never know. But uh, maybe this thought, you know what, let's just win this round by killing them all. Send out a message, we don't need the bomb. Or let's just get it over with and get back to gun rounds. Well, they're going to full eco now. So maybe they could do that this round. Certainly are. 10-7. Glocks. Ahoy. PD50. Are you like a Chips Ahoy fan? Um, Did you guys have those in the UK? No. I don't know what uh, that is. It's a cereal. Okay. I think it's a cereal. No, maybe it's just a cookie. I can't remember. Oh. I'm going to look that up. You keep going. I will. There's not really much I can do with this round, Matt. So thank you for throwing me a bone on this one. I get a chance to play by play. Yeah, they're cookies. That's okay. Right. <laughs> Glogs rushing towards middle, up, and Zantara is licking his lips at the prospect of finding a big spray down there, but he does get punished. These are the sort of rounds where you have to do present some sort of discipline, Matt. You don't want to give up too much, but Zantara is, that's fine. They'll have four UMPs into the next round here, so expect something a little bit out there, maybe uh, a push towards the lower ramp or towards underpass of the UMPs. They do manage to pick up one of the M4s. That was Zantara, so now just three of those aforementioned uh, SMGs to use in round number 19 here. 11 7. First gun round. Jane brings out the AWP. Busted us to know 16 kills. Rivaling the likes of Paz is on 19. So, as I said, I expect something aggressive here from the CTs. Whether it's pushing B apartments up towards middle, I'm not sure. It doesn't look like we mid at least. That's got quite a standard round, if I'm honest. And Kallax does go down at the very start. Jane continues that very strong AWP form. As QCAT will have a chance to find another kill here. Tries to. No one's really going to expose themselves after the Molotov goes down on the platform. Major just stays tight. So Kallax down really does give Avangar at least a little bit to work with. Lots of time to do it, to be fair. Sixteen. Try and get back toward the upper side of middle as well with Buster above watching the window. Interestingly enough, 
They don't have a whole lot of information. They've got control toward middle, but they're going to go back toward B, where they did spot Major behind the van. He's since vacated that position and gone more aggressively toward the catwalk, which will easily catch them off. Buster walks directly into the AWP. No one else heading that direction, at least yet. The saving grace in the round for them is that B is relatively open, aside from Paz, who's just walked in. Christian could have walked in behind him and potentially caught him off, but he's timid to do so. Prison. Nice position from him. Pad's going to be tested here with the UMP. Can't get anything done. Major, the last line of defense in the B bomb site. Hits another wonderful flick there, but he is fully flashed. And that's where Christian will come into play. Santara is now M4. Not in a great position. He will be banished for that. Three versus one. And remember, this is the bonus round from the CTs. Bomb goes down. And you tried to deny it there with the incendiary. Decent attempt, though, but uh, Jane will get out. Pretty much unscathed, and now Engine looking to cause some damage, maybe just financially at this point. Knows he can't win the round. He's going to rotate and try and find an AK-47, something like that. But maybe he goes all the way back round. Another UMP there, my friend. But uh, just saving that. Not going to really challenge for anything else here. So the three UMPs into round number 19 not working out there for Space Soldiers. Good work by Jame. Towards that B bomb site, they had to at least find one of those kills that they finally committed there, but nothing really came through. And they haven't got right back in the second half now with three players surviving, so that's good news for them. Engine 7k. So the UMP always going to be viable, even in gun rounds here. Here's Jamie at the very start, taking down Calix. That's a nice scalp to take at the very start. Santara's definitely had the lineup there for a double spray down map, but the AWP is definitely the, the counter to that play. Solid entrance on B as well. Well, this is where the game really heats up. M4s will come out. Calix on the AWP. Same story for Major. So they're going for a double orb setup as well. It's one of the maps we almost guaranteed to have this in almost every single CT half. It's a very strong setup, especially the long rotations with that B bomb site. You want to have an orb setup. Turret mode. But the execution coming in with the looks of things. Three towards pallets. Won't even be an execution. This will be a one smoke. Flashbang over. And uh, here they come. Shot back from Krizium, but it's the only one so far. Calix, the second op lines up. Zantaras chimes in as well. Could start from engine. Yeah, very simple approach here. That is thrown in every and then by T side. Just to have the surprise factor. It's not a telegraph. That's a full execution there. Zantaras to finish things off. Three towards pilots. Actually a very common pistol strategy. You don't see it too much on gun rounds. And there he goes. Flash over. Send three players out the pallets. Even as an orb CT spawn, the idea is you can blow his head off as soon as the first player goes down. It's all about trading frags and having a surprise factor. But Engine, he didn't really see that surprise, did he? Two frags of the UMP. Perfect situation for that. Prison finally takes him down. But Kallax doing a good job there with the AWP. Gets the third in and Zantaras with two frags of his own. And what have we got here? It looks like a little bit of an eco for the avant-garde squad. They win one round and then get completely reset. It's 4-1 right now in the second half. Major again. Push. A little bit more aggressively this time toward the B apartments. The pistols and a potential 13th round for Space Soldiers. It's again the T side that seems to cost them. At least starts off with one kill. Unfortunately, we won't give that much more to work with. Paz is certainly ready. Engine catches out Buster. And I think we do have the round done, Henry. I think you might be right there. Unless James... Sometimes wrong. Uh, it has Usually been, no, wrong. Very rarely, I would say. I know you don't be so hard on yourself. 13 to 8. And Calix will find the final blow as they get into round number 23. 13 to 8. Do or die time, I'm afraid, Avant Garde. Remember, this is a 0 1 game. In the Swiss format, you have three lives essentially. As soon as you lose three games, that means you're out of the tournament. You will not be making it to the final 16. And uh, both these teams find themselves in that same situation. 0 2 is a very scary prospect considering some of the teams in this tournament. As we look at having guys by, it's, it's a pretty healthy one. Four AK 47s. Lack of utility though. AWP comes out. They have one smoke after throwing the initial one towards middle. That is not ideal. And the CTs are getting aggressive here. Santares, he's not going to miss those sort of shots. Takes down the Orpha, looking for the double, nails it. And that's a five on three. Wonderful stuff once again from the star player of Space Soldiers. Mister. Backing off with the smoke still out of Palace. Doesn't have much to work with. Dimasic needs to be the one to open up some space for him by getting a kill at A main. Oh, he's a beast, isn't he? Yeah, he really is. Zontaras is nuts. I mean, he's not even top fragging in this game, to be fair. Paz leads the way on 21, but Zontaras has had some very impressive kills. And he seems to get them in strings of kills. Yeah, exactly. It's like he'll be quiet for a couple of rounds and just blow up. As uh, we go into the five versus one now, Buster. 
He has got his work cut out from him, I'm afraid. He has one smoke, the AK-47. Luckily, the bomber's on his back, but he knows he can't win this one. What's the play? He's just trying to stay alive for 55 seconds. That means he gets no money into the next round. It's not like saving the CD side. You can save your weapon, then drop. He actually has uh, zero in the bank right now, and he'll get $2,400 into the next, if he, that's, if he even dies. But uh, there it is. Engine will take him down. Dire scenes for Avangar. They have $2,400 pretty much across the board and the 14 a down. This is one of those situations where you pick your poison right now. No, there's no good option. You either go all in and buy up with UMPs and pistols and uh, try and deny match points, or you take a full eco and allow them to get it and try and win seven rounds in a row after that. Doesn't sound like either option is actually that no, good. No, not though. that viable. No. Not exactly what you would want. So uh, CZ, they've gone for all the all-in play. Surprisingly late for the first time out to be called. The thing is, when the Tech 9 was at its absolute peak, these sort of rounds were actually very viable on Mirage because you could do the wall of smokes towards A and the run and gun, run and gun and yep. potential of the Tech 9 going through smokes with flashbangs was absolutely wild. Um, but with the CZ... Did you miss it? Um, I miss the Tech 9 generally. I feel like they, uh, once again, unfortunately, like it's one of those weapons that got removed from the game, essentially. We see it like once, a couple of times a tournament, maybe now. The CZ's completely taken over. It's a shame it gets completely like removed out of the meta once it got changed. It was overpowered, though. It definitely Certainly. was, yeah. But um, it seems like the CZ's completely taking the line right now as we get into one of the final rounds here. Just to reiterate, they have gone all in with the pistols, the armor, and the nades. That suggests a set piece and might not even be required. Kallax is aggressive there. Taken down by the CZ. Luckily, no weapon recovered and a frag returned. And it's now a four versus four. Buster instead to a deagle. Tantara's positioned. Easily able to take down Kirstian, who is making quite a bit of noise inside of mid. James, the next to go in the same direction, but aside from smoking off Zantara, so that throws out an aid to be fair, so now he's giving away his own position. There's not much he can really do. In fact, the smoke has a gap. Four for Zantara, he's not going to take the fight. Instead, he's going to call engine inside of the site. He's down Buster, but he's gotten the bomb in the meantime. And Paz will take out Jane, leaving us with Jess Buster. Major is on the case. Well, there we go. All in. Did not really work out. They've got to plan out that map. They'd be okay for this round. They're going to get $2,900 now. And uh, it is indeed match point. 15 to 8. Seven rounds in a row required from Avangar. It looks like the run might be over here against Space Soldiers. Remember, they are 0 2. They will have another life. But it's not a team I, I predict seeing in the final 16 here. It's great to give them. Uh, exposure here. It's, it's lovely to you know they get so many viewers and uh, showcase themselves. But uh, overall, it looks like Space Soldiers are going to be running away with this one. Zantara spots a couple. Good discipline, though. He knows they're going to be weak at this point. Don't let them back into this game. Good oh, flashback there. If he takes down Prison, gets the double kill, of course. He arrives in spades once again. He wants to shut this game down right here, right now. Five versus three. Zantara's tagged up, but it looks like it's done. Still a case in it. If they can open up the A site, Calix is inside of the sandwich, and James getting closer behind was not Terrace low on HP as well, meaning if he could win that duel, they would be able to pinch. But Calix has decided to change his position, knowing perhaps it's not Terrace was not going to be able to help Kicker nearly. Finds a double, but couldn't locate engine fast enough that maybe just enough to push it completely over the edge. In mind, with Avengar here, there is more. Kazakhstani players in this event than Swedish players. Never thought I'd see the day. Buster and James managing to pull this back as well. Major and Zontara's down. Paz the last alive. And the ball will be planted on the A site. They know exactly where Paz is now as well. Yeah, a few more twists and turns, it seems. Two versus one. Paz, top fragger so far. Four space soldiers. Wants to close this out right now. But it looks unlikely. Good setup here from Avangar. You can see Buster on top of the bomb site right now. But a good smoke towards jungle. Eliminates one of the opponents here. And now. If he can find Buster to kick things off, he might have a real chance, but not meant to be, I'm afraid. Jane pushes through the smoke, takes him down. Avangar live to fight another day, at least on this map. As we go 15 to 9, there'll be plenty of money available for Space Soldiers here. Six rounds in a row now. He's got to concentrate and take each round as it comes. He fought Zantero as that initial play map. That would be it. Five on three. Somehow they recover. At least for now. But they'll get the AWP out on Jane. Money still 
reasonable for space soldiers as well. So there's quite a bit of, hold, of a hole to dig themselves from. This thing's gonna be smoked off as well inside of A main. Pretty standard default that they've been running every single round. Yeah. Playing a nice tight game. Don't give anything up. Don't take any risks. Wait for the CTs to get impatient and on the top there, but doesn't do too much damage. Nice move from Major. Doesn't give up his frag. Has to use the smoke, but that's fine. He's still alive. And he gives up 13 points of health there. As the smoke goes in towards middle. Could boost above this if they want to. Indeed, they will. Run boost, perhaps? Okay. Yeah. Okay, well, nothing too impressive there, but no presence from the CTs in middle. So at least they have mid control. Bust uh, in towards the palace. Looks like an A split coming through. Mount off towards short. Ideally, you want to put a smoke there if you're going to be fully committing towards CT spawn and ticket booth. But Zantari is behind them and he will cause an absolute nightmare. He's going to get both kills almost guaranteed at this point. The P2000 can't quite do it, but there it is. It should be all done here. Kalex with a nice three man spray down to finish things off. The overall scoreline will be 16 to 9. Space Soldiers go 1 and 1. And Gar goes 0 and 2 in this brutal Swiss format. Brutal indeed, but they get to the one-on-one -on -one bracket. This will reset them, and they'll take it one game at a time. Space Soldiers, I still think, can be a dark horse in this tournament. It wasn't perfect. There was still a few issues, but certainly yes. the teamwork was much better than yesterday. Absolutely. As they said, communication was off on Cobblestone. They were going one at a time, one at a time, one at a time. Today, they had a plan and a good default discipline all the way through. Avangar seemingly...